Hello everyone, this is Alworth 8567. We're back with Resident Evil Director's Cut, but this time we're not playing the original mode. We're playing the beginner mode. Why are we playing beginner? Because I want to show off more of the items this run, plus you saw the hard mode last time. Resident Evil is one of those fickle things where you play one mode and then you play the other, it's a different outcome. So I want to show off the lower mode to get more of the items. But we're doing it with Jill this time. So you're getting both. You're getting your normal and your easy, and you're getting both characters. So that's my motivation for this one. Enjoy your opening cutscene. We'll be back soon. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo Team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Resident Evil. What is this? Wow, what a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! A 
dining room. How was that for you guys? Good? Okay, I gotta get used to the commands again controls again. Yep, yeah, we have the we have the Beretta back. Okay, there we go. Okay. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. One of the epic lines of Resident Evil. I hope this is not Chris's blood. He's still investigating. <clears throat> now you know what to do in this room. Yeah, same as last time, just run right back. Old Greyhead won't know what hit him. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. I wonder if I can go back and get the ammo in there now or if I have to wait. Yep. Shut up, I know. I'm trying to get the run button. Thank you. And now we head right back to the main room. I know, cutscene heavy! Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Hmm. So he's not under the typewriter. He's back here. Not back here. No, I'm stuck. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. The Master of Unlocking has been found! Let's take us some ink ribbon. I want those. I think there is ammo over there I want to grab. I think, therefore, I will. I think as long as I don't trigger Barry, we should be okay. If I accidentally trigger him again, we're in trouble. You'll see what I mean. I just want to go in this room, go back, grab some ammo, and then get going on the other way. Why? Because ammo. 
Yeah, Kenneth. Sorry, Kenneth. You're a good friend. 30? Sixty. I think there's a difference already. I think we get double the ammo for a handgun. Gee! The handgun! The weapon we use the least, we get double ammo for. Well, when you're in a pinch... Don't even go in this room yet, can we? Nope. We need the armor key. I thought so. Only 11 minutes in, we're already in this room again. Push. Let's see what's back here. Stop on him! Or kick him. That's different. Fine status. Eight ink ribbons already. I think that's also doubles the amount of ink ribbons. I forgot that he doesn't come after. He's already alive when you walk in. Blah me. Blah me. I'll just cover that back up. We're not going back there anymore. Let's see, push this in the. Yeah, I can actually see it this time, guys. What the heck? That better not have been a phone call or something. map of the first floor you take it yes you got a map of the first floor is that it I think it is and yeah we don't need a key we just lock pick the door I thought there would have been something for pushing. No time! Run! Run, Jill! We can worry about them later. Just run. Oh, geez. Something threw me off today. Everyone give a shout out to that lady. She's actually talked, sent us a message during and I'm having trouble typing back to her at the moment. There we go. Yeah, we can't get through that door because we need the armor key and now she knows that we're alive. She won't bother us. I could use some herbs. That's why I'm not really fighting anything at the moment. There's really anything in here. They really make this room empty in Jill's version? Yeah, they made it empty. I was mashing the button. Hey, it works for me. Unless there's something I'm missing. If I'm missing items, guys, early on on this mode, let me know. Because you know what we're about to do next, right, guys? A tapestry. Well, there has to be more than a shotgun.
don't want to be blazing these rooms, but at the same time, I do want it. Meh. Sounds like I'm going to have to put up with it. Are you guys ready for one of the most epic lines of Resident Evil? Are you guys ready? Remember, check both doors. Too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But Barry, didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. And there you go, one of the most famous lines in Resident Evil history, Jill Sandwich. So you remember when I asked for the level difficulty I put hard as Jill Sandwich? Oh, hi. Uh... Uh... Yeah. Here's where your reference was. Oh, sheesh. Oh, man. Too many enemies coming at me at once. Like, honestly. You weren't dead after all! Kill it! That one's dead, though. Being jerks, not saying they're dead when they are. Stupid freaking jerks. Are you dead? I think he's dead. I hope he's dead. He better be freaking dead. Have to use this already. Either way. My three o'clock alarm has gone off and we're, we're at the end of the episode already. But I'm going to take this. Next episode, I'm going to clean up the rooms. I'm going to go back to the rooms we missed, and I'm going to go, you know, hunt some stuff down. Make up for what I lost. And, wow, even more ammo. Yeah. Needless to say, beginner gives you more ammo than you need. But, well, we're at the end of an episode. I'm not going to be able to continue on. You know, we have way more ammo than we need at the moment for the handgun. I'm getting the episode here. I'll use the ink ribbon, and I'm going to end it here. I hope you had fun, and I'll see you, come on, on the next one. <laughs>